Oh, hi folks. We're just uh, working on our stabilizers. We have been uh, having trouble getting them up and down. They seem to be, they're a little sticky. Um, I have greased them in the past and I have been told by other fellow A-liner people that it, uh, it actually gums them up more than it lubricates them because it does dry on and cake on and get nasty and dirty and gross. So I'm hitting them with some, some WD-40 that uh, pretty much washes away most of the grease and grime and stuff and I wipe them down with a rag try to clean them off a little bit but um, uh, you can see that uh, I'm using a drill to work them back and forth and they, they are getting a lot easier so um, that's a good thing so uh, let me let me finish this I got the other ones to do and uh, we'll do a video okay thanks You guys ready to go? Huh? You ready to go camping? All right. Let's get going. Hello, folks. We are stopped along the road um, of Route 3 going through the Adirondacks. It's a busy road today, Saturday. And it's a buggy road. <laughs> but, um, we are about a uh, half a mile past the ranger school entrance. We're in ranger school land and we're at this cute little uh, pull-off. It's a kind of a rest area, picnic area, but um, this is a pretty neat little stop. It, it's pretty neat because it has water. You can fill up your trailer with spring water and this is good drinking spring water. I usually fill up the dog's water dish here. And this has been here forever, from the days of the Civilian Conservation Corps. This was one of their camps. And uh, it's just a, a neat little stop. There's some, it's a, you know, that water comes out of a spring that they piped way back when. And there used to be some stuff in here about the 1995 microburst where I was actually standing right here when it happened and um, there's a nature trail and some other stuff in here this is this is all we're surrounded surrounded by the uh, New York State Ranger School uh, forest property they learn how to log and how to measure trees and do and, uh, ecological assessments and stuff like that this is not on any map or anything as a rest stop, but you just kind of have to know it's coming up. Don't ever uh, not enjoy the journey. The journey is uh, three quarters of the trip. It's enjoy the trip, not just the destination. So, all right, back on the road for us. This is called the Axton Landing. And there's this tiny little sign here to verify that. And this is really a, a canoe stop for people that are canoeing down Long Lake and down to the wreck and down the Racket River towards Tupper Lake. We are using the GoPro with the gimbal, so hopefully it's not too shaky. It still has to go up and down because it's in my hand. And it's upside down. The, 
the new GoPro on the old gimbal has to be used upside down. So hopefully the whole video won't be upside down. And this is the landing just a couple hundred feet down the trail. And I guess obviously I can be able to get the trailer in here without too much trouble actually. For me, this is a good place to come in the fall because there just aren't too many people here. Now the water's really high. This is kind of a boat launch. And as you can see, the boys like the water. You can get a drink Caesar. Dakota, don't get all wet. <laughs> look at you, look at me. Come on, get out of the water. Boy, you know, I've got my hat on and I've got my long sleeve shirt on. And we did see some bugs while I was sitting here getting the camera on. This is pretty nice though. It's, I don't know, you probably can't see that with this camera, but um, this is a river. And the river goes around that island, if you can see those trees way out there. I'm running 4K, so maybe I'll zoom in on those. But see way out there there's trees and that's an island that the river goes around this has changed a little bit since I was here last they do have outhouses here though it would appear people don't like them as much as just using the woods there seems to be a smattering of toilet tissue all around the woods. These are all campsites and you know this up here this is up away from the water a little bit is pretty level and it's uh It's a big fireplace for groups and stuff. But that's what comes here. You see um, large canoe groups will come here and, and uh, you know, you'll have a scout troop or a girl scout troop. And kids camp will come through with nine or 10 canoes while taking a trip together. They'll all camp out here, but I guess the road isn't bad. I guess I could easily, guess I could easily get in here with uh, the A-liner. We'll have to come back in the in the fall and camp out. The road has uh, been improved quite a bit since my last time here. This is the town of Tupper Lake. We are right in the middle at the moment at the uh, crossroads of Route 30 and Route 3. And we are going to zip over here for a minute because today is the Tupper Lake Woodsman's Field Days. I don't know if there's a fee to it or not, but we're going to go over and see if we can take you on a little tour through the Woodsman's Field Days in Tupper Lake. See that big black cloud over there down around the thing? That's where we're going. <laughs> but in the meantime, we'll stop here and get rained on here and see the Tupper Lake Woodsman's Field Days, which are just a little wet and muddy. But there are things for everybody here. Bad food all over. Oh, look at that. This is why we had to come here.
And they're from all over the place, huh? Yeah, Virginia, Alabama, Kentucky, Pennsylvania. Jeez. Pennsylvania. We had to hide from the rain for a bit. Boy, it is muddy. Ooh, nice box belts, trapping stuff. This is what the North Woods is about. Oh, we gotta get a little saddle for Caesar. So we got skitter drivers. The skitter is the thing that picks up the logs. going into Horseshoe Lake and we are going on Route 421 which unbelievable to me this has always been the absolute worst road in the world it's a county highway but it goes nowhere it used to go to a train station and when they killed the train in the 60s they just stopped taking care of this road and it was awful but they must have paved it last year after I was here because last year it was awful and uh, now it's a brand new paved road unbelievable I hope this doesn't increase the number of people that come to my camping areas this is my favorite camping area it's on a lake it's where nobody knows um, and they're designated campsites it even has outhouses and, and uh, fire rings in places we left the paved road and we are on the dirt road which is a much smoother nicer road than the paved road but this goes in we are just coming up on the old railroad station and there are a couple of camps here. Private camps. Ah, somebody's in my favorite spot. So I'm glad we didn't come all the way down here. That's good. We may end up flying the drone out of here though. And there's a spot right next to them, which is right here, which is kind of icky. Since it's so close to them.